Joining us now from Chicago is CME Group's Executive Chairman, Terrence Duffy. Uh, good morning to you, sir. Thank you for making morning, time. Uh, tell me, what did you learn uh, and what was the conclusion from yesterday's conversations with the SEC in your meetings in Washington? Well, from the testimony yesterday, I think what I learned is there needs to be a lot more coordination amongst the secur securities exchanges on the protocols that they would have or don't have in place. So I think that was very topical about how they create circuit breakers so they can all coordinate. So when one particular stock goes down, these these stocks are trading on 50, 60 different venues. They can all be coordinated. So I think that was the main topic yesterday, Margaret. So what is the right level for those circuit breakers to, to kick in at the CME? Is it a 10 percent drop? Well, is it 2 percent? Yeah, right now, Margaret, we have, in coordination with the securities exchanges, there's a 10 percent, 20 percent, and 30 percent circuit breakers. So if you hit the 10 percent in the first several hours of the day, the market closes for a, a short period of time. If you hit the 20 percent circuit breaker, in the middle of the day, it closes for another period of time. If you hit the 30% circuit breaker, you close the balance of the day. What CME has in place is called stop functionality, stop uh, logic functionality. So if our markets are cascading down or up, when the orders are coming in, if they can't be filled in a range, in, in today's world, the S&P, within a half of 1%, then we will close for five seconds, and we will let the book replenish itself, and hopefully liquidity comes back in. And that's exactly what we saw happen in the E-mini contract last Thursday. Are your counterparts at the other exchanges uh, willing to accept those same levels that you just laid out? Well, we, yesterday, I mean, this is technology that is patented by the CME Group. I said publicly yesterday that we'd be willing to give this technology out to the other securities exchanges for the betterment of the market. We think it makes sense. Explain to me, because we introduced you talking about um, the S&P E-mini and a particular trade that's come into focus that, that took place like 10 minutes before this steep fall, this, this flash crash in the markets last Thursday. Um, in particular, one trader was selling 9% of the daily volume of E-minis in about five minutes' time. You say that this appears to be a legitimate hedge. Well, yesterday, Chairman Gensler referred to a participant in the E-mini market that was trying to participate in the market to sell up to 9% at any given trade in time. So that's all there was to it. It was nothing more than a hedge from a long equity position. So it was uh, business as usual the way we see it. You do not believe that this was a, a trigger in perhaps a perfect storm of a setting? Margaret, the market had already gone down precipitously prior to this trade coming into the market. The volumes were already spiked up precipitously. So no, I do not believe this was anything other than a hedge uh, by a long participant. What do you believe was the triggering event that caused the steep sell-off? I think, I personally believe that there was a lot of macro events leading up to this event. You had a lot of uncertainty throughout Europe, especially in Greece. The markets were already nervous going into the day. The volumes were high. And it doesn't take much, as you know. We've been through a lot in this country and in this world as it relates to the economy. So right, markets are very nervous. $700 billion dollars in market cap loss in just a few minutes' time seems like a, a pretty sharp reaction, not a, a typical I, I, sell off. I, don't, I do not disagree with you. I do not disagree with you. But what I will say is the protocols that the CME has in place, all the pre execution protocols we have in place were all met. We're the only exchange in the world that has those type of protocols, so okay. we did not hit. We did not hit the 10%, and again, everything worked efficiently here. Thank you so much for making the time.